Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here. And my girlfriend got the Aquasana filtration system for my mom uh, to install. So we're gonna do uh, in box, well, to try out, I'm gonna install it. Um, we're gonna do an unboxing review right now, then we'll come back and do an installation uh, review. And then we'll probably come back next Sunday and then do like a review and see if it actually even worked. Um, you know, and what it feels like for, I think it was 90 bucks, I think this thing was, or something like that. So, let's cut it open, see what we got in the package, at least right now. And then, like I said, we'll come back and install it. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to install it this second, because we're going to go, uh, to Home Depot to go pick up a vanity that I got, um, that I ordered in. So, it just came in, so I want to go pick it up so I can install it. Um, so here's the, it comes with the filter. Uh, this is the, wow, that's heavy. This thing is heavy as hell. Better be some good filtration system. This is like really heavy in here. Um, so yeah, here's the filtration system uh, from what it says right there. I will have to probably read the directions a little bit too while I'm, um, you know, when I come back to the video so I know what I'm talking about more because this is the first time I'm just opening it. They give you this little shower head. I'm, you know, we're not going to use this. My mom has a Delta and it's, you know, it has different settings and it has the um, whip that comes off so you can clean with it. So I'll open this for you just so you can, guys can see it, but uh, I'm not really, um, you know, I'm not going to use it. So it comes with a gasket in there with a filter, as you can see, grommet, gasket, whatever, gasket, whatever you guys, O-ring, whatever you people call it. Um... What does it say? Flow rate, 2.5 gallon per minute. So yeah, that, that, that's pretty standard for everything. Um, it will probably move, uh, I can't really move this as you saw in my other videos. Uh, this moves when it's on it uh, from the whatever, from the, uh, I guess the leverage. I don't leverage to move it. So this one has a couple of settings. I'm not sure. I, I think it only has three settings. It says spray, massage, and aquasana. So, I don't know what that is or what that means. I mean, hopefully you don't have to use this shower head to, in order for this to filter properly. I'm not sure. So, I have no idea. Um, that'll be a surprise or something that I read in the directions and then I tell you that sucks. Um, so, this is what also what it comes with the Aquasana Live Healthy Installation Instructions. It looks pretty simple. This is pretty much going to be our setup. I mean, I'm not going to, ours is not that high because Delta puts their, uh, you know, inlet ports pretty much right below the, uh, the head of the uh, shower head. Um, so pretty much that's the instruction manual. So you guys can see if you guys want to, um, you know, pause that and then take a kind of look-see and see what that looks like. Um, so yeah, so the water out, water supply, blah, blah, blah. Do not over tighten the chrome collar. Unpack and prepare. Make sure you have everything. Got it. Shower head removal. Remove the existing. Okay. Filter attachment. Attach the shower filter body to the shower supply pipe at the side of the chrome swivel collar. Turn clockwise to tighten. Use a pair of pliers to tighten a little bit more. Yeah. Plumber's tape. Uh, like It shouldn't be required. You should never need plumber's tape when you're... Um, you know, having a gasket and stuff, that should be the thing that seals. Uh, if you, if it's leaking, then that means you have a problem. You probably need to change out the, uh, your shower arm, because the shower arm is probably bad, I'm guessing, your, uh, your threads or something, so it's probably leaking through. So, uh, you just change that out for, like, six bucks, and then I think it may be nine dollars now, who knows, because the COVID prices all went up. Um, so that's it. You flush it for two minutes, it says, before you use it. Um... Pretty much that's it. I do not see that it says you have to use, um, oh, <clears throat> here it says right here, here we go. For best results, use the dual action shower head provided with the system. So that's for best results. Hopefully, I don't, you know, I want to be able to use whatever I want. So we're going to use it with whatever we want because, you know, I guarantee everybody else um, likes a certain shower. And this only has two or three settings. And that's not cool. And we like the one that also comes off because then you can, you know, clean your shower a lot better. I'm just, you know, that's what usually we do. So... Alright, now you are ready. Shower head. Alright. That's to attach the shower head so we're pretty much going to be doing just what's over here so like i said i already read it and it seems pretty simple so i'm going to get this installation going in a little bit uh like i said we'll be right back um here's the rated capacities and all that other stuff so you guys know all right you can pause that and check that out and see the uh 
uh, you know, whatever the hell it says down there. All right, so that's about it. Uh, let, me, uh, let me cut this open for you, so obviously you can see this, because I'm not going to have it cut open, um, you know, after. I mean, I am going to have it cut open, but I'm not going to... Eh. All right, so it comes with these little rubber things on it, I guess, to um, help the filter not absorb so much crap. So it's plastic over here. It's a metal over here that's free, um, you know, spinning. There's the little gasket in here. It kind of, see that? It um, restricts the water flow. So you are only going to get that much water through it. It must be a reason. Obviously, this is so it gets the proper filtration. So I would not recommend taking that out. Then there's it's a waste to even have this filter. Then that's not going to work. You need a water to go through at a certain amount of you know pressure gallons per minute whatever in order to filter properly and they do the testing you know, i'm pretty sure i hope they did the testing for us so um pretty much yeah i would use the same setup and not mess around um if it's not the pressure that you want then i would just return the item and this is probably not for you then maybe you got to find something else because they do have high pressure ones uh they're more expensive but they do have them i've seen them online um so here's what it says right here. Uh, there's like the model and whatever else it says right there. Let's see how this, oh, oh, it screws over really easily. Let's see if there's a gasket or, yep, there's a gasket in there. Um, it is black in there. That's why you're gonna wanna flush it. Like they probably pressure tested it, I guess. They just pressure tested it real quick because look, see all the blow marks with the black. So they probably did like a pressure test and that was it just to make sure there is no leaks. Um, and, but you still got to run it for two minutes. So this is kind of what it looks like. You just pretty much change out this entire thing and pop it right up. It is very heavy. Uh, I'm not, you can't cut this open and show you what it, uh, you know, but there is, um, you feel the carbon uh, swaying around in there and everything like that. You're probably going to want to, look, I see copper on this O-ring. You're probably going to want to make sure that it doesn't have little copper pieces on it or whatever that is. It looks weird. Um, you could probably, uh, if you if these look dry or they don't go on right or you want a nice fitting you could probably use um, you know a water-based uh, some kind of lubricant um, for the um, you know gaskets over here while you're putting this on because when I've dealt with filtration systems in the past sometimes if this gets really dry from the hard water and you're tightening this on um, I don't know if these come with new gaskets. I did not buy a new one. So if it does come with a new gasket every time, that's awesome. And then you just change this out. Uh, but I do not know. So this is me not knowing. This is me thinking that you have to reuse this gasket every time. I would lubricate this with, um, you can use olive oil, um, you know, anything that's like, a, you know, not going to be damaging. Um, WD-40 would eat this thing. You know, you can't use certain lubricants on here. It'll eat this and then, then there's no point. Then you got to get a new one anyway. Um, and you don't want that mixed with your water, like chemical mixed with your water. After you put whatever lubricant, wash it for two, three minutes, and then it'll probably be gone. You know what I mean? And then that's just to get it on so you don't rip this gasket up. Uh, that's just experience with doing this kind of filtration in the, in the past. Um, so that's it. So it screws on just like that. And that's it. You probably only need to make it hand tight because this thing lowers the pressure right here. So you probably only need to make those hand tight and then it won't leak. I, I can almost guarantee it. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. Like I said, it feels pretty heavy. Nothing else in the box at all. Um, they're from Texas is what it says and healthy living or whatever. All right, so that's it. We'll be back in a little bit and we'll do the installation. And like I said, then uh, we'll come back with my mom with a review and see if it makes her hair silky smooth. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.